Well, good evening. My name is John Yader. I'm chairperson of the Planning and Zoning Commission. And I will uh, be presiding over the commission's uh, deliberations on hearing items this evening. The Planning and Zoning Commission sits on an advisory capacity in the uh, to the town council and reviews planning and zoning issues and forwards recommendations regarding these important issues to the council. This evening's proceedings will be conducted using the following format. First, I will read the hearing application into record. Following the identification of the hearing application, staff will present the case and their recommendations to the commission, after which questions from the Planning and Zoning Commission will be directed to the staff regarding the case. After the commission initially reviewed the application, the floor will be open for comments, at which time the applicant will have an opportunity to comment regarding the matter and answer any questions. It is at this point that I will open the floor to general comments from the public regarding the planning case before the commission. I ask that you uh, direct your uh, pertinent comments to the commission through the chairperson and not to the applicant, staff, or individuals within the audience. I would also appreciate, oops, excuse me, I appreciate your co uh, cooperation in making your statements brief and to the point, as I may exercise the prerogative to confine public comments, if need be, to five minutes intervals per person, uh, should there be considerable public involvement in the case. With that, I will um, call to order February 8th, 2016, Planning and Zoning Commission meeting. Okay. Our first item, uh, we're just going to have a uh, uh, pastor is going to uh, uh, Charlie Hale. He's going to uh, do the invocation and we'll uh, stay standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, I'm thankful to live in a community that still wants to honor you by remembering you, that you're watching over us, that you are with us as we meet and as we conduct our business. We're so very thankful for this community, the people who lead it, the people who volunteer and serve in it, and we especially pray for the safety of our first responders. We pray for the servicemen and women from Prescott Valley who are serving around the world. Keep them safe. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Can you join me in the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we'd like to have roll call now, please. Commissioner Rutherford. Commissioner Rankin. Here. Commissioner Roberts. Commissioner Dusky. Commissioner Zercher. Here. Vice Chairperson Dreves. Here. And Chairperson Yader. Here. And our next item will be approval of the minutes from November 9th, 2015. Move for approval, Mr. Chairman. Second the approval of the minutes. Okay. All say aye. 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 Any announcements from the public? Any, Richard? No announcements? Okay, then we'll proceed right now with uh, our first public hearing items. Um, ZMC 15.006, uh, upon the application of the town of Prescott Valley, a request for a zoning map change to rezone various vacant properties on Spouse Drive and Loose Drive between Robert Road and Parent Drive from C1 to RS-PAD. Uh, the proposed zoning change is uh, a development strategy to improve development op options and encourage infill in an area designed as a focus revitalization area in the general plan 2025. Carmen? Great. Thank you, Chairman Yader. Uh, good evening, Commission. For your consideration and recommendation to the Town Council this evening, we're bringing before you um, a rezoning action on the uh, screen, there's a, a map which shows 
various parcels notated in red. Um, this action is a optional action as a um, planning tool to um, try to develop and to revitalize the spouse and loose corridors. It's an area that's been on the town radar for quite some time as an area that needs re revitalization. And uh, as a, a result of the general plan 2020, a planning study was, um, was done for this area and various uh, implementation strategies um, came out of that. And one of those strategies was to look at rezoning the area in order to try to spearhead some, some kind of action, some kind of development. And therefore, this, um, this rezoning action is a result of that planning process. Uh, we've had 10 uh, property owners that um, have 20 parcels that are vacant, and uh, they've uh, come forward and expressed an interest in this rezoning. Therefore, we have 20 parcels um, that we're looking at rezoning to RS. PAD. The RS zoning district is one that allows both multifamily, residential, and office type commercial uses. Um, it's one that uh, town staff um, feels is, is uh, a good transition um, for this area uh, between residential and commercial. There's already some development on the drive. There's um, uh, educational and, uh, and uh, uh, daycare and and um, I think there's preschool um, also on loose drive and uh, so therefore we feel that the RS zoning district would be an appropriate transition and town staff recommends um, uh, your approval to uh, the town council related to this item and I'm available for any questions okay thank you Carmen uh, any comments from uh, Carmen, I noticed we had a couple of um, letters in support as part of our package. Have we had any of the adjacent lot owners that have objected for any um, reason? Yes. Let's see. The the comments, uh, uh, town staff, excuse me, I didn't put this part in there. Town staff did hold a neighborhood meeting, an informative neighborhood meeting in December. Um, we sent out 873 letters. Uh, there were 12 people in attendance, um, nine neighbors, two property owners, and one staff member. Um, the comments that staff received uh, relating to concerns were um, whether, whether or not uh, this type of use would bring in transient people and uh, the concern that multifamily dwelling units would be subsidized. Now this is something that town staff can't can't look at because subsidized housing is something that's protected with uh, the Fair Housing um, Act. So therefore, that's not something that you know we have anything to do with. Um, so those concerns were ones that that were beyond our scope. Otherwise, uh, everything was really favorable, and I included a couple of letters as well yeah. in your packet. And we saw those. Okay. Um, any comments from you? Mm -hmm. Yes. Any uh, comments from the public? State your state your name, please. Hi, my name's Chuck Mostert. I'm one of the adjacent property owners to the rezoning on Spouse. I attended the meeting that we were just informed about. Uh, I had a completely different feeling from that meeting. Uh, the indication that I just heard was that it was a favorable meeting in rezoning. I did not hear one person in favor of it other than uh, a few property owners that were there. Uh, so I think we have a little difference of opinion there regarding uh, perhaps the gist of what came out of that meeting. I realize there might be some things that the, the town can't do anything about regarding future uses, uh, regarding group homes and that sort of thing that was brought up at the neighborhood meeting repeatedly by some of the other property owners. Uh, one of the issues that I see is uh, I'm going to be maybe not as directly affected. I adjoin uh, a portion of my backyard adjoins one of the vacant lots behind me. So I'm not completely exposed uh, to whatever might be built on these properties. 
but I would be concerned if it went to uh, duplex, triplex, quadruplex type zoning, which I understand this would allow, and all of a sudden we're getting two or three story buildings there with people looking in our backyards because the lots are small there. Uh, our lots are small. These, the adjoining lots are small on spouse. So anything over a single story is going to be looking right into our backyards and into our, the back of our houses. Uh, in addition, my wife and I just drove up and down spouse and saw some of the, uh, the existing buildings that are there. Of course, there's a lot of single family residential stuff on spouse. There's also some professional buildings, uh, rental buildings, et cetera. And we noted that they were virtually all rented out. Uh, there are very few vacant spaces there. So we don't know that uh, changing the zoning as essentially a gift to these property owners is a good way for the town to spend money or provide these people zoning variances or rezoning without them coming forth and asking for it themselves. Uh, I don't see that that uh, this is going to be any better transition with new zoning than it is now. So uh, I guess I don't have any more thoughts than that. Questions of me? No, no. Thank you very much. Uh, any Richard, would you like to comment a little bit further on this, or Carmen? I know that Richard Richard has some some. Uh... As Carmen pointed out, uh, the the town did engage um, a planning professional to do a corridor study, the Robert Road Spouse Area Study, which set out a number of again strategies to get these uh, properties developed as part of an infill strategy. And again, uh, the concept that the general plan has supported uh, during the time that I've been here is compact urban form caused the interior of the town to develop as opposed to see sprawl outside of the town. So this is uh, one of the strategies. The reference to heights, there is no uh, difference between uh, heights uh, for commercial and residential development in the town of Prescott Valley. Uh, you can have 35 feet uh, in either. So conceivably, the properties as are currently zoned could accommodate a building of up to 35 feet in height. Uh, similarly with uh, multiple family if they chose to do so. Uh, a 35 foot uh, height envelope is restricted into being no greater than two stories. So it would be unlikely that you would have um, that kind of, of structure. However, as the Planning Commission is aware, because this is a PAD, there's an overlay district which requires that preliminary uh, development plans come to you. That is a uh, open public hearing process as well. So neighbors, in the case of the most recent speaker, would be noticed of, of the ability to come in and remark about the configuration of buildings. Uh, at that time, the Planning and Zoning Commission could take into consideration if they're uh, how they're oriented to try to orient the balconies or something that may occur on a second floor away from the neighbors uh, as opposed to imposing on the neighborhood. Uh, that would be yet one additional strategy that's afforded by the PAD overlay district. Certainly Carmen's available or am I, as am I, I should say, to respond to your questions. And, and again, it's regulation. We can't regulate. You, uh, you, you can't regulate the type of tenant uh, whether it's supported by government assistance, as Carmen pointed out, that's against the law because of the Fair Housing Act. Um, you can regulate the types of uses. Um, it also needs to be said that residential services uh, would also support some of the office uh, dwelling or office buildings that have uh, since been constructed. I do know the property owners, uh, many of them along that uh, stretch of road, uh, they've come to me over time and asked about what they could do to better position themselves in the market so that they could put their properties uh, to good use. There's a couple of brothers who also have multiple family down the other end of spouse. Uh, they have quite a large portfolio. And <clears throat> they, on a whim and a prayer, developed the two commercial suites that has the dance studio and some other stuff, and they sat vacant for over four years. So they've had a hard time trying to fill that. Uh, many of the lots through there uh, owned by some real estate professionals have been on the market for greater than 10 years. So obviously they're not an attractive uh, 
place for commercial development, and I think the market has borne that out. Thank you, thank you, Richard. Uh, any other com uh, comments or? Chairman, I'd like to make a motion that we uh, forward a positive recommendation for zoning map change 15.006 to uh, council. I'll second that. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Roll call, please. Commissioner Rankin? Yes. Commissioner Zercher? Yes. Vice Chairperson Dreves? Yes. And Chairperson Yader? Yes. And with that, we're going to uh, do a little sharing tonight. I think I'm going to have, uh, we're going to share with Sherry. And she's going to do the, uh, an action item here for us tonight. <laughs> the first action item for this evening is RP 15-007. Upon the application of Linda F. Burke, a request for a revisionary plot to combine lots 4764 and 4765, a portion of lot 4763 into a new lot 4763R and a combined lot 6038 with a portion of lot 4763 into a new lot 6038R, Prescott Valley Unit 9 located in the of Adobe Lane. Thank you, Vice Chairman and Commissioners. Uh, <clears throat> that's correct, the uh, illustration here. Uh, shows the configuration of the reconfiguration of the lots and the uh, three combined lots that are on Adobe Lane uh, will result in the one larger lot, uh, 4763R, which uh, will contain one primary residence and then also the uh, portion of that lot, 4763, will be combined with the, uh, the uh, lot on Lone Drive and uh, that will also have one primary residence. And both lots uh, meet the standards of uh, Chapter 13 and uh, will be subject to applicable code, applicable code standards for any future development. Uh, with that, staff recommends uh, the Planning Commission approve RP 1507 and forward to the Council with a recommendation of approval. And uh, I'm available if you have any questions. Thank you. Thank you. I, I'm just so that I understand, um, with the uh, the the piece of 4763 that's being added to 6038. Um, what kind of is there a certain? How does that work? It's a new one uh, as far as access on to the um, the small portion of 4763. Obviously, it from 6038. Am I correct? Uh, yeah, that's that's correct. And there are, I believe, some easements in there which uh, which can't be fenced uh, also, but. Uh, other than that, the new lot could be, you know, an accessory structure could be put in there if it meets the setbacks and such. But you're right, there uh, would be no other access except through that lot. And, uh, we would allow somebody to to basically put a drive across that um, that easement to access that parcel? Oh, I'm sure you could put a drive, uh, drive through it, but you can't fence off the easement. But you, you could certainly drive across it. Or I mean, as flat as it is up there, I understand you know the access i was just wondering about with the water line and so forth if there was any problem getting over that easement just, just you can't uh, couldn't fence fence it off okay that's my only question thank you matt any discussion no i'm good sure no i'm good i would entertain a motion uh i'd like to uh, make a motion that the uh, commission approve RP15-007 and forwards the same to the town council with a recommendation for approval. I'll second that. Here we have a motion and a second. Uh, roll call, please. Vice Chairperson Dreves? Yes. Chairperson Zercher? I have a new title. I mean, I'm sorry, <laughs> Commissioner. <laughs> hey, hey, but I'll, I'll vote yes. <laughs> Commissioner Rankin? Yes. <laughs> Chairperson Yeter? <laughs> Yes. Well, since you've already uh, given Matt the uh, <laughs> chairperson uh, qualifications, I'm going to let him read uh, the public hearing item. All right. Uh, good, good segue. Way to go. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Initiate public hearing on general plan amendment uh, backslash zoning map change upon the request of the community, community Development Department of the Town of Presque Valley, a request to consider initiating public hearings for an unspecified date for the purpose of reviewing a proposed minor, minor general plan amendment, GPA 16-001, to change the designation from low des density residential to public, quasi-public, open space, and for the purpose of reviewing a proposed zoning map change ZMC 16-001 from R1L-10 PAD to public lands. Great, thank you, um, Commissioner Zercher. <laughs> well, damn. Um, as a condition of the uh, development agreement with uh, the town of Prescott Valley, Universal Homes proposes to dip piece of land on the west Glassford Hill Road. This is part of the Granville development. Um, and uh, this is uh, to satisfy its requirements for parklands and open space. Um, it's been a policy of the town of Prescott Valley to give uh, these lands the appropriate um, zoning designation of PL, public lands. And therefore, this um, request to initiate these public hearings is in preparation to um, uh, have you review the general plan amendment and the zoning map change for this de designation. And I'm available for any questions. Thank you. Thank you again, Carmen. Any questions or comments? Comments? Who wants to step up? <laughs> I make a motion to um, initiate a public hearing. <laughs> For the purpose of reviewing a proposed minor general plan amendment in a zoning map change for the Granville area. Thank you. I'll second that, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Having a motion and a second. We'll try this again. And do the roll call now. <laughs> Comm Commissioner Rankin? Yes. Commissioner Zercher? Yes. Vice Chairperson Dreves? Yes. And Chairperson Yeager? Yes. And with that, we'll go to our next item, which uh, I think Larry should uh, do the call to order. For public. public. Hmm? I'll call the call the public. I'm sorry. Got me. Still got me flustered. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Consideration and discussion of comments from the public. Those wishing to address the Planning and Zoning Commission need not request permission in advance. Action taken as a result of public comment will be limited to directing staff to study the matter or rescheduling the matter for further consideration and decision at a later date. Thank you very much. Uh, we're going to end this meeting. February 6, 2016. Our eighth, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Is that coming out of the light?